Welcome to second part of the video. What happens during the resonance? We learnt from part 1 that to build up resonance, sufficient number of loading cycles are required with forcing frequency very close to the nasal frequency. We also discussed at end of the part 1 that in case of resonance, the damping plays a very vital role. So, in this video, we will see impact of damping on response of the structure during resonance. Before we start, let us try to understand what is damping through example of single degree of freedom. In both the cases, dynamic load is applied having one cycle and one second as a time period. Let us observe the response of the structure with and without damping. In case of structure without damping, we can observe that the structure continue to oscillate even after removal of the load after one second. However, in case of damping, we can observe that amplitude are gradually reducing after removal of the load and eventually it diminishes to zero. To study effect of damping on amplitude, let us observe the equation of amplitude for damped single degree of freedom. Damping is indicated with symbol C in this figure. For harmonic excitation, steady state amplitude at any time t can be represented by this equation where ust is a static displacement, xi is a ratio of actual damping to the critical damping. Critical damping is the value of damping when structure will not oscillate at all under the effect of dynamic load. R is equal to frequency ratio that is the ratio of the forcing frequency to the natural frequency. Now, in case of resonance, R will be equal to 1 and hence the denominator value will be governed only by xi. So, the damping will play a very vital role for controlling the amplitude during resonance. Let us see it with couple of actual examples for single degree of freedom. In part 1 of the video, damping was considered as 0 and we applied 50 cycles of dynamic loading with forcing frequency equal to natural frequency and it was observed that the amplitude was increasing in each cycle. In case 2, the similar dynamic load is applied and 2 percentage of damping is considered. We can observe that after 5 seconds, value of amplitude is significantly lesser as compared to the structure having damping 0. Also, we can observe that after certain time, the amplitude remains constant, that is, it does not increase with respect to time. In this example, we have considered damping as 2 percentage. Let us see the impact of higher damping on amplitude during resonance. Generally, damping varies from 2 percentage to 10 percentage for different materials. As we have considered 3 values of damping for the earlier example. All other details are identical. We can observe that there is substantial reduction in amplitude with higher damping during resonance. Resonance is very important criteria for design of machine foundations. So, generally the damping is specified as only 2 percentage for the machine foundations during operating load case. For short term loads, higher value of damping is permitted. I hope these two parts will help in understanding the basic fundamentals of structural dynamics. Thanks for watching and keep following us for more such videos.